Hello everyone, I'm Yan here, and today I'm just going to be doing a quick tutorial on how to uh, cheat the slot machines in Borderlands 2, but more generally how to use uh, Technojacker's cheat table, because if you know of it previously, uh, he had a previous cheat table and it's now been updated for 2019 and works with the latest DLC, Commander of Earth and the Fight for Sanctuary. So, First off, you'll need to download Cheat Engine. And as you can see here, I just searched up Cheat Engine in Google and I have the first link, cheatengine.org. Uh, and you have to download Cheat Engine and install it. I do know that um, people have been concerned about whether Cheat Engine is a virus or whatever. And I can say that it's, that from my experience, I haven't had any, of, um, any bad experiences with it. Uh, and plus it's really reliable, it works for different games. It's pretty good, if like, as, well, for its purpose, cheating games. So, as you can see, I'll just install it here. I'll click yes, and I will just install it. One thing, I'm just showing you the install, installation process because uh, one thing that previous cheat engine versions had was they would, they would ask uh, if you wanted to install a vast antivirus which is kind of dodgy because a vast antivirus uh, is not a very good antivirus and it leaves behind things on your system, which you don't want. So that's why I'm just showing this process to you. And yes, here it is. Now it's updated to AdAware, but uh, so here, this AdAware, so they've updated to AdAware. So you need to click decline, right? So don't click accept, okay? So if you click past this really quickly, you may install end up installing some software that you don't want and don't need and uh, may potentially be harmful to your system. Well, probably not, but it's still not great. So just click decline. Okay, so now we've in, un, uh, installed everything. And as you can see, let's just click next and we'll click finish. Okay, so yes, I will just go to cheat engine. I'll open up uh, here, so I'll search it in my search bar. I'll click yes, and as we can see, we're left with the default version of Cheat Engine 7.0. We need to download the latest uh, cheat table from Technojacker. I will put this Google Drive link down in the description, and actually, I will upload a version myself just in case this ever gets taken down. Or so you need to right click, click download, and the file should download very shortly. So I'll just download that to my desktop. I will right click open folder and I will just delete my old version, which I just downloaded and I'll extract it here. And what you should be left with is a file which says borderlands2.ct. So CT stands for cheat table and we'll open it up. And uh, what it will say here, it'll ask you to execute this Loire script and I always leave it on only when signed else ask and so this basically allows the cheat table to run. So now when you have this cheat table working, what you need to do is you need to open up Borderlands 2. I've actually deleted my version of it, but once you open up Borderlands 2, you can actually click on these crosses and I'll show you some gameplay of uh, what that looks like and you'll see lots of options and you can click on the numbers and uh, left click, double click it, and to change them to the values you want. And there's a lot of cheats here. They include uh, adding the slot machines, as I'll show you shortly in the gameplay. Okay, so now we're playing the game. And as you can see here, um, this is what the cheat engine table looks like. Um, as you can see, if you click on the cross on the left side, uh, uh, or the boxes, it'll uh, add a cross to them, and this will mean that the cheat is enabled. And as you can see there, I did uh, change some of the values by just left clicking and uh, changing the value of um, how the cheat table operates. Okay, so we'll just skip ahead to some of the gameplay so I can just show you that it does work. Okay, so now we get to the slot machine cheat. So. What you need to do is you need to open up the cheat table here and what you need to do is you need to look for the fix slot machine uh, cheat, uh, slot machine and dice and 
you just need to left click on the box as you can see I do shortly. Um, yeah, and as you can see, what we that enables the cheat, but we need to enable the slot rigged value normal because this is Moxie's bar and this is the normal uh, slot machines. And now, as you can see here, I will just play the slots and as you can see, I get the three volt symbols and I, and I get a legendary weapon every time I play these. So yeah, and that's the basics of this uh, slot machine hack, I guess. Yeah, and I'll just let you enjoy uh, grabbing a few <laughs> legendary items for a bit. Um, yeah. Okay, now as you can see, uh, we are left with quite a few legendary weapons that we just got from the slot machine. Okay, so the second part of this uh, hack, I guess, is that the cheat table can also influence things such as drop rate and player speed. And as you can see in the video, uh, I've set my super speed, uh, my speed multiplier to 10. And remember, you always need to press the cross to enable the cheat. It's pretty self-explanatory, but you also need to edit the values to a value that you see fit. Okay, so the best values that I found uh, for the rare loot hack is to set everything to uh, all, the, all the rarities except for legendary and pleasant to 100 and to set uh, legendary and pleasant to 3000 roughly because if you set all the other values to zero, that is all the other rarities to zero, nothing will actually drop and you'll be left with loot containers which don't actually give you anything. So do set them to uh, a value um, and experiment around. I mean, uh, I set it to 100, but I think you could set it to one or two and still be fine as long as you don't set it to a value of zero because that just makes all loot reduced to zero. And as you can see, I'm picking up legendaries and pearlescents from, from simple lockers. That's a pearlescent and a legendary in a single locker, which is pretty rare and you pretty much, yeah, actually I don't think I've ever seen legitimate gameplay of that ever. One thing I forgot to mention is that in order to use this cheat and rarity, the rarity mod, uh, it only applies to containers. It doesn't actually apply to enemies and it doesn't make them drop any more items than they usually do, at least from my observation. Um, so they only really work with like lockers, boxes, and they don't work with ammo chests because ammo chests just give normal ammo. And um, so, and one other caveat is that you need to be greater than level 10 to see all the drops. So you need to be higher than level 10. That's because of an internal, uh, how, how Beerbox programmed Borderlands 2. Because when you're level one, uh, you actually cannot get any uh, weapon drops at all because that's just how they programmed it. And so you need to be level 10 plus before you see all the weapon drops such as snipers, um, pistols, uh, shotguns. Otherwise it just, you'll only see a few or you won't see any drops at all. So that's why it may not seem to be working for you. One other thing that I did forget to mention is that uh, Techno Jax's table can also edit things such as not only speed, your jump, like how high you can jump, but also your weapon damage. So you can just mod your weapons to be really, really powerful. And yeah, I guess you can do that. Um, I mean, it's games are about uh, having fun. So whether you have fun in the end. So what what is fun is determined by you. So um, also, as I was saying about Gibbed, so Gibbed, if you're gonna do this already, like you might as well just use Gibbed and Gibbed is a uh, save editor for Borderlands 2. So what is a save editor? A save editor edits your player information, your guns. So you can, you can pretty much create, you can edit your level, you can edit your experience, how many uh, skill points you have. And if you wanna get straight to ultimate Vault Hunter mode, that's also a feature, how much Iridium you have, how many Seraph tokens, how many Torg tokens. You can do all of that with this uh, save editor. So as you can see, I just searched up uh, Gibbed uh, on, on Google and 
as you can see here, I just clicked on the GitHub and you wanna use the latest release. And as you can see here, it says, if you wanna use the save editor, download BL2 save edit 1.042.zip. So that's this folder, uh, this file here. Okay, so I'm just going to download uh, BL2 save edit 1.04.2.zip. So I'm gonna save it to my downloads folder and I'm just going to unzip it. So for this, you need uh, WinRAR, or I think you can actually unzip this by default. So if you're on Windows, if you just click extract here, wait, no, you cannot. Actually, you do need, I'm pretty sure there is, no, uh, never mind. Use WinRAR and click extract here. <clears throat> and you should be uh, left with this program. So what you can do here is you can, uh, left double click on uh, Gibbed Borderlands 2 Save Editor and you can click open. So what you should do is you'll you'll be led to this file path which is uh, users, uh, your username, documents, my games, Borderlands 2, Willow Game, Save Data. And you want to click on this folder here and you want to go to your corresponding save. So um, when you're there, so you can change what character you are. So you can change it to like accident. Um, you can change your experience level. So you can actually go above the level cap to 90, 100 if you want. And what overpower level you are. Uh, you can change your name. You can change your vehicle skins. You can change how much currency you have. Uh, and most importantly is you can change what items are currently in your backpack. So you can do this by going to uh, 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 the imager of Sparfire. Yeah, so Sparfire BL2 Gibd codes. So once you're on a code, once, once you're on his imager, you can actually just copy one of the codes, as you can see here, and just paste it in. So you click on the paste code button, and that gives you the exact weapon. One other thing, important thing is you can press sync all, which means that it will sync the level of all the items in your backpack or in your bank to your level, which is pretty good. I mean, because, you, because um, Borderlands 2 just revolves around constantly like out leveling, out leveling your gear. So this way you won't actually need to farm any new legendaries if you've already got the legendary and you can just sync all. And with the codes, the, B the Borderlands 2 Gibbed codes, you can get any weapon that you want and you can make any build that you want really quickly. So uh, that's about it for this video. Um, so this is how to pretty much a general guide on how to hack Borderlands 2. Uh, Gibbed also works for the pre-sequel and I do know that there are some tables which you can get from the fearless forum for the pre-sequel and borderlands uh one game of the year edition i'll just leave you with some footage of me getting uh pearlescence and legendaries from lockers so thank you for being here you are my lifeblood anime nyan out <laughs> <laughs>